Good evening, YouTube. Hello. This is Brew by Me. Doing another brew, uh, beer review tonight. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing a beer sent to me by the one, the only, Albino Rhino. This is by the Better Bitters Brewing Company in Burlington, Ontario, Canada. This is a very, very, very rare beer. I think it's uh, their first pumpkin attempt. Uh, it's a special edition pumpkin ale, 5% ABV. Um, so we'll give it a try and see if it matches up to uh, some of the other pumpkin beers. I know it's kind of a little out of season, but hey, you do what you gotta do and I don't want to leave it till next year because it's gonna go bad. I'm using my St. Ambrose goblet. Standard nickel brock cap. Ooh, smokage! Penny for your thoughts, nickel for your thirst. Alrighty. Mmm, smells good. Wow. Sweetness. Well, it's not see through. Two fingers ahead. That is an orangey red color. You can see the nice carbonation in the glass. A nice pillowy head. Um, again, this is sent to me by the albino rhino, thanks to him. Um, I don't get much Nickel, pro Nickel Brook products up here, so I'm glad that he sent this one to me. Uh, again, this is, I think he said it was their first attempt, so hopefully they did a good job. Uh, according to uh, L Rock of Healy Beer Reviews, they did an awesome job with this beer. So, let's go. Let's give her a taste, a uh, smell. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Alright, so off the nose, you get the sweetness, you get the maltiness, the usual people. Um, you also pick up the uh, pumpkin. Nutmeg, cinnamon, uh, ginger, the usual pumpkin pie spices. So it's unfiltered anyways. I don't smell any really bitterness off of it. It's just mostly sweetness and spices. It smells good. Let's give her a taste. Alright. Hmm. Alright. So, off the taste, you get the nice sweetness, the nice maltiness, the usual characters. I'm also picking up a nice bitterness. Um, it's kind of a floral hop character. Um, I'm picking up the uh, a slight bit of the pumpkin, a slight bit of the nutmeg, a slight bit of the cinnamon. Um, there's a very, very um, light to medium mouthfeel, slight carbonation. It's not like super sweet like um, the shipyard uh, pumpkin ale and it's not super uh, super alcoholic like the uh, southern tier IPA or pumpkin ale sorry. Um, 
it's a kind of a nice in-between uh, pumpkin beer. Uh, it's actually a decent pumpkin beer for the for them doing it for the first time. It's a pretty damn good, excuse me, first attempt at a pumpkin beer. Um, if I were them, the next time they make this, I'd try and make it a little bit sweeter. Because right now, don't get me wrong, it's a fairly decent beer, but it's missing a slight sweetness. I don't want it to be super sweet like the shipyard, but I don't want it to be super bitter either. Um, but your pumpkin character is there, your spice character is there. Like, uh, the pumpkin's not overwhelming, the spices aren't overwhelming. There is some stuff floating in there. Some little hobgoblins. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm a home brewer, so I'm used to that kind of thing. Um, anyhow, um, it's a fairly decent uh, pumpkin ale. Um, I have no complaints. It's a very, actually, it's a fairly sessionable pumpkin ale if you want to be that frank. Um, you could probably drink a few of these uh, and not get tired of it because it's fairly well balanced. Um, like I said, the only thing I would do is try and make a little more mouthfeel to it and a little more sweetness. Other than that, I wouldn't do anything. The bitterness is nice, the spices are nice, the pumpkin's nice. Everything's nice about this beer. Thanks a lot, Albino Rhino, for this beer. It's awesome. Um, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Leave any suggestions, ideas, or comments in the bottom. And a really big thank you to the Albino Rhino for this rare pumpkin ale by the Nickel Brook or Better Bitters Brewing Company. Um, thank you so much. It's truly appreciated. Until next time, see you later.